Nearly 700,000 immigrants are protected by DACA, and many of them are training for high-level professional careers. Adriana Diaz is at Loyola University's Stritch School of Medicine in Maywood, Illinois, outside Chicago, where a group of future doctors is watching the DACA debate very nervously. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. This medical school was the first to officially accept undocumented students back in 2014. There are currently 32 being trained here. Now, because of DACA, they can study and work here, but they don't get citizenship. We sat down with three students who told us what it's like to be at the top of their academic game with no clear future in sight. Every time I hear footsteps outside my door, like there's a part of me that for a second thinks, you know, should I open the door? After almost 20 years living in the United States, Cesar Montelongo still worries immigration agents could detain him at any moment. Born in Mexico, but raised in New Mexico, the 28-year-old is the first undocumented immigrant to pursue his Ph.D. and M.D. at Loyola University's medical school. But the soon-to-be doctor may never be able to practice legally. My biggest fear is that maybe DACA will remain but there will be no way to go beyond DACA, like there will be no pathway to citizenship. 27-year-old Alejandra Duran Areola studied chemistry in college in Savannah before becoming one of the dreamers enrolled here. The news remind you, Twitter reminds you, that at some level you are not welcomed here. I see the U.S. as my home, my community, my people, my peers. Belsi Garcia Manrique's mother brought her to the U.S. illegally from Guatemala when she was seven, traveling for two weeks by foot and car. I feel like I haven't done anything wrong. I've gone to school, I've gotten good grades, I do community service, and yet that gives me no right, in a sense. We have always drawn strength from being a nation of immigrants. President Obama enacted DACA as an executive order in 2012 to protect undocumented immigrants who came here as children. Critics call it an unlawful program that lacked congressional approval, promotes illegal immigration, and takes away jobs. What do you say to folks who say this is a country that has to have its borders, it has to have its laws, and people have to follow those laws? And if you had someone that, yes, they entered the country illegally, but it was 20 or 30 years ago, and they're a productive member of their community, they're paying taxes. You know, what is the logic behind deporting them outside of just following an arbitrary rule? The president has said that he wants to find a solution for DACA. Do you believe him? There's been a lot of back and forth, you know, this is going to happen, then it doesn't happen, then something else happens. Although the prospect of deportation is real, Alejandra says she's not going back to Mexico. If I had to go, I wouldn't go to Mexico. I will go to Europe or to Canada or any other country that wants doctors. It's actually funny how we want to stay here. It's because our families are here, our communities are here. But at the end of the day, we're American-trained, almost physicians. Any other country would jump up to take any of us. If lawmakers find no solution for DACA, there's no clear path for these students to complete their training, repay their loans, or practice medicine. John? Adriana, thanks.